Hey everyone, welcome back. In this PowerPoint tutorial, we are going to learn how to insert or embed a video in any PowerPoint presentation. So there are multiple options to embed a video in PowerPoint pre presentation, multiple sources to embed a video. So we are going to learn about all of those options which are available in PowerPoint. Along with that, we are going to learn what are different edit options so that you can customize your video as per the needs within PowerPoint presentation. So quickly, what you have to do is once you are on the PowerPoint, simply you have to go to the insert tab here, right? So wherever you see the insert tab, go to insert and in the extreme right hand side, you will see the media section here. And in the media section, you will see the video option, right? So if you hover over the video option, you will see the insert video appears, the tooltip appears. And here, if you drop, click on this icon here, you will see that you can insert a video from the local device, which is your current computer or wherever you have this PowerPoint. So from that device you can upload a video for the video from stock videos which is basically the premium content from the Microsoft themselves so there is a video library you can search for the videos and insert and then you can insert. for example you can search those videos as well so let's understand one by one let's un insert a video from this particular device so if I click on this device and I'll go to the demo files I have a video here and I'll select the video and simply click on insert right and now you will see the whole video has been inserted here in this PowerPoint slide now as soon as the video will be inserted you will be redirected to the video format tab here and here you can see that there are lot many options to format the video let's quickly understand some of these very important ones so play is obviously to play this particular video simply click on the play button and it will start playing the video. In the corrections, you will see that you can quickly go ahead and do the brightness contrast accordingly based on some of the corrections that you see, right? So for example, you want, you know, more sort of a brightness 20 and contrast 20. So let's select that, right? So it will adjust the brightness or corrections accordingly. In the color, you will see different color options here. If you want to change any of the color options, you can see or select any of the template that you see there. Okay, you can go to more variations and then you can also go to the pick color options to pick any of the color options. These options you won't be using too much anyways, but I'm just walking you through how you are going to update. Then in the poster frame, you have, you know, set the preview image for the video clip. So you can set up the poster frame accordingly. Uh, if you want to reset the design, you simply click on the reset design and it will go to the default right then here you have a different options to basically update the video you know accordingly as per the design here so you can see more options that are available here based on the designs that are available out of the box right the next thing is around the video shape if say for example you want to change the shape so you have the standard shapes that are available most probably you will be you might be using the circle shape to change the video into a a circle or any other shape that you like right so these are the options for the shape border and the video effects accordingly for example you want to have the reflection or the soft edges etc so all of these options are available all text is to provide or to put the alternate text for uh, this particular uh, video uh, and then the next option is to basically bring forward backwards so for example there are multiple you know sections here so for example on this video I type in something right so I insert something else on the video for example let me type in something okay so now if say for example I want to make this video or just video to bring forward I'll say bring forward and then the video will come forward and the other element which was the text element that went backward right so if I go to send backward that element will come in the front right so this is about the video formatting of a video sending forward backward etc in alignment you can change the alignment of the video accordingly if you want to change the size of the video you simply hover over in the corner here and you can change the size of the video 
to fit in or to reduce the size the next thing is you can crop the video as well right so you can rotate it first thing you can rotate or flip the video or flip horizontally etc and then you can crop the video as well say for example you do not want some of the uh for example some corners right so for example i do not want this bit here so i can go ahead and crop the video as well and only select this bit in my particular video and if you just enter somewhere only that bit which you have cropped will be available here let me delete this one now let's go to the video format again and then here you can adjust the height and width from here as well the you just put in say for example i want to change the height to 5 and then width to uh, 10 i can adjust that automatically from there as well right so this is around the video formatting the for the video that we have inserted now in the playback you will have different other options to edit the playback options for this particular video for example you can trim the video which is important which you might be using a lot you do not want to play initial few bit a few bit or few seconds of the video or an end few seconds of the video you can trim that accordingly and then just hit ok and that video will be trimmed accordingly right so then you have you can also do the fade duration you can adjust the volume to low medium high or mute and then in the start basically this is important so how this particular video will play so do you want to play it automatically or when clicked on when this presentation is going on so in click sequence or you want to play this automatically or you want to play when when you click on the video when you are doing the presentation then how do you want to play this video you do want to play it in the full screen or you want to play just in the small section of the screen so if you want to play it in the full screen just take that box play full screen and the video will be played full full screen okay and then here loop until stop so this will this video will keep playing and in the loop until you stop it and then you can also have the rewind after playing okay then you have other insert captions option to insert the captions so these are some of the very basic options for inserting a particular video from your laptop or desktop wherever you have the video available and then adjusting that video or editing that video accordingly as per the need right so now say for example i present this slide okay now you'll see that it hasn't played automatically now i'll click and then it started playing right so this is how the play will happen for the particular slide okay if i change this playback to automatically as soon as i'll start presentation you'll see the playback has started okay so this is briefly about inserting the video from your desktop okay now say for example let me insert another slide okay i'll say new slide and on this slide let's see what other options or how you other videos can be inserted so in the video we have seen the this, this device now if you go to stock videos you will see that here we can search for the stock videos that are available right so you will see different categories available i want to say for example insert any of this video okay so let's pick this one and then simply click on insert okay now with your subscription you will get these stock videos which will basically download and insert on the full slide now rest all options are absolutely similar i can make this video or resize this video okay i can change the shape of the video accordingly all right and then do all other editing options that i have seen in the previous video let me insert a new slide again and try to insert a video from the online media okay so for example i go to online video and then here i have to simply provide the address from where i want to insert a particular video so let me pick one of the youtube videos and i'll simply put the url for that particular video as soon as you will put the url automatically if the url is correct the video will be fetched okay and then you can simply click on insert okay and as soon as you will insert the video insertion will be done okay and here on the video i can do the similar editing option so for example i want to add you know the borders there okay so for example i want to add the heavy border i have chosen the heavy border there the other option is around the video effect i want to add some of the shadow 
right now please remember this is this is the online video right this is the youtube video that i have inserted but in terms of editing and formatting everything is as it was for any other video so it doesn't matter which source you have chosen for inserting a video on in the powerpoint slide the editing option and the playback option for the video will remain absolutely same so for example this one if i go ahead and change it to automatically right so i start the video automatically uh, i've chosen that and then save it so and let's do a presentation and let's go next and then next and you will see the video has started automatically right so this is basically how you are going to insert the video in powerpoint slide edit the videos as per your need or your project needs edit the video or the playback settings and do really nice presentations using powerpoint slide so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching